In many ways, it's the first proper opera. It's certainly the first opera that's the first opera written that remains in the repertoire today. Orfeo was written in 1607, and it was the first opera ever written, and it started a wave of um, musical theatre that became quite high tech for the times. It's a complete masterpiece. I mean, there's a very good argument for it still being one of the greatest operas there is in terms of innovation, but also in terms of uh, just the sheer beauty of the music and also the invention of the composer. The, the music is incredibly um, expressive. I've seen engravings from 1640 uh, of stages with, with fog machines, with, with, with angels suspended from wires, with massive um, mechanical devices underneath the stage that drive boats and waves and, and I thought how incredible at that time so I thought it would be nice to mirror that sort of technology in uh, using the technology of today. I really like uh, two moments when, when we try to visualise what they have in mind, what the singer have in mind. So we have these two kind of moments where like a pixel digital phase appear and in these two moments I really like the visual because it's like represent what the singer have in mind. So Theo and Eurydice, this, this big search of his love and this was a big challenge. There's an amazing um, range of stuff they can do with it uh, and it's, it really adds it really adds an amazing uh, dimension and depth, I think, to the to the performance. Um, it, it means that uh, it, it means that, the, that what happens on stage is, is complemented all the time by by the by what you see on the screen. It's a really fantastic uh, fantastic job they've done. I, think. I was in touch with Brian Smith, who was very generous to um, send me guide me to some astronomical data, which I imported into the, the software and then used to set up the star field for the final scene where um, Orfeo and Apollo ascend to heaven.